today we're doing the titration of uh, hydrochloric acid. And we're using sodium carbonate as a primary standard to find out its concentration. So the constant titration will be titration of, high, of sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. So stage one is to prepare our sodium carbonate standard solution. We can make an accurate solution of this, which we can then use to find the concentration of HCl that we know only approximately. So first step, just like we've done a few times here, find number of moles. Second step, find mass. No different than before. Okay, so today we're doing a titration of hydrochloric acid. And the first step is to make our standard solution. So I'm going to weigh my beaker, push the zero button to get it back to zero, and I'm going to weigh out my 1.06 grams of sodium carbonate. Now again, like I showed you before in the earlier demonstrations, smart thing to do is hold your spatula sideways like this, and then just tap it like that, and add just a tiny little bit at a time. You don't have to worry about going and overshooting it and going back and forth and over and over and over again. Okay, so right now I'm up to 0.47 grams. One, 0.62 grams now. I need to get up to 1.06. Okay, 6 grams in here. Like before, I'm going to make about 40 milliliters of that solution. Okay, it's 40 milliliters. Stir that up till it's completely dissolved. And we'll stir it till it is completely dissolved and don't get going too fast and splash some on your hands. Not that it'll hurt your hands a whole lot because this is stuff that's used actually as a household product. It's just that if you lose some, you have to start all over again because you don't know its concentration from. Your great grandmothers might have used this stuff at home. They might have called it washing soil. there, that's okay, because it will get lighter when I put it down into here. Okay, so funnel again. And again, you want to get everything from here into there so you can rinse it, the whole business. One thing you can do if you like is pour along the stirring rod like that. It will keep the solution from going down the outside wall. It's not a requirement. off the stirring rod, make sure you got all the contents of the stirring rod into this flask. Rinse out the flask. Now once more. So I know my beaker is clean. I know my funnel is clean. And I want to get that funnel out of there because again, there are problems there. They miss the line. that, so I'm going to make it up to the neck of the flask with water, without the funnel, so I don't run into problems. Okay, I'm at the neck of the 
flask. I did get some water on the outside, but it's just water, so that doesn't matter. As long as I don't use the solution on the outside. Okay. And this solution will always look somewhat bubbly because it contains dissolved carbon dioxide, sodium carbonate. So it contains dissolved carbon dioxide. So it will always look a little bit bubbly. Okay, so there I've got my solution, put in my stopper, invert to mix. Okay, and so there's my standard solution of sodium carbonate. And I'll be using that on each titration. Okay. Next thing I have to do is I have to get the burette ready for the titration. So I'm going to move this sodium carbonate out of the way, get my burette stand up here. Now the burette stands are designed to easily hold a burette. Now these burettes are really expensive. The tips have to stay, if they chip, they ruin the pipe, the burette. Fortunately, we've got these new style burettes with removable tips, but the old ones, if you wreck the burette, you wreck the tip and wreck the whole thing. 